All right, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Happy New Year. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Kramer. All right, Jim, it's a new year. We had an incredible run in stocks last yeah, year. And remember, as Bob Lang retweeted, you don't necessarily preclude a uh, you know, an up year after a big up year. Uh, actually, the data show the other way. But I think I want to point everyone to read Ken Fisher's column today. He's one of my faves and a friend in USA Today talking about how Europe could be better than U.S. Now, obviously the dollar is very weak, so that's going to affect a lot of the European uh, manufacturers. But I like that call. They had PMI up at 60, and that could mean the raising of rates, which is going to be very good for the banks. So Europe may be better than the U.S. this year, but the U.S. could be strong. And I, I like the idea that the average has been, uh, after big rally, tw up 12% the next year. Uh, I think that's certainly doable. I do worry. I don't want to see too much euphoria. I don't want to see too many secondaries, although I think some of these companies should do them. Uh, so the secondaries I don't want to see are from, are from NASDAQ. But you know what? If we can get tech going, and tech is the one that really kept us down in the fourth quarter, but was great all year, then we would see another big rally. Uh, Fang off to a strong start today, uh, which is important because that group's been kept down by, I think, profit taking. And uh, if that can stay strong, we, uh, you might have a good day. Speaking of tech stocks, Apple is now offering those batteries yeah, you know, now versus look, I, I think that this was one of those things where Apple is a consumer product company. And if Gillette put out razors and somehow their batteries burned out, then, G, then Gillette would have instantly give you a new razor. Uh, Apple, if you're worried about your battery, instantly you get a new battery. That's what a great consumer product company does, and that's what Apple is. Unfortunately, it's always covered by tech people who simply just keep making surveys that tell you to sell, sell, sell. And this, I, I've never seen a survey that, was, that ever said buy, buy, buy. Every survey is negative. How's the stock done during Mr. Survey? And the answer is <laughs> it definitely I'd say uh, non-correlative with the endless sell, sell, sell surveys. And that's one of the reasons why you say you should own Apple, not trade it. Right. I mean, I saw there was a $200 target from Piper. But don't worry. Uh, in the next few weeks, you'll see a lot of downgrades. And you'll see a lot because people love to do that. They love to make a name by downgrading Apple. I think they should be more thoughtful and actually analyze the world and what it means for the 8 and the 10 in 2018. And Netflix was upgraded by McQuarrie. I mean, where you know, have they been? Well, I mean, the problem with that is uh, they're talking about how it's, they favor a sub-model versus ad. Well, I, I think that's one of the reasons why the stock has moved so much. I mean, talking about them com the company being miles ahead of everybody else, well, I think that's well known. The only thing that I thought was interesting was that they do say that uh, they're not going to break the bank making original content. And that's very important because that's been the bear case. Free cash flow, maybe just okay. Uh, the call is probably right. Yeah, and it also said that Netflix has changed the way people watch TV. I think we knew that. Well, what? <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, you know, it's like the Abbott Labs. We own Abbott Labs for uh, for the Channel Trust, Axel Orange Plus. And, and, and two people upgraded it today. I mean, like, we bought it in the 40s. And they upgrade it now. Well, the answer is they're just beginning to recognize that St. Jude is going to help this year, that Allier is not going to be that bad. So what they're doing, and this is going to happen for a lot of companies in the next five days, they're literally saying 2018 is going to be better than you think. Organic growth in the case of Abbott going to, going to 5.56. Everyone will want, to, want Abbott on that because that will be one of the great organic growth stories for uh, 2018 if that's the case. And Jim, for the new year, marijuana, recreational marijuana. Yeah, I mean, look, I think that Oregon, Oregon showed you what or what it means. Oregon allowed you to do three plants hydroponically, and the sales were really fabulous. 11% of Scott's Miracle Grow is uh, is is hydroponic, which is often thought to be marijuana because you can grow it inside. Uh, we know uh, that we've seen statistics for states that have it recreational, uh, which show that there's tremendous demand. And I, I know that a lot of people want to play marijuana stocks. I still insist that the best way to do it is Scott's Miracle Grow. Huh? All right, Jim Kramer, we'll leave it there. There are many more stocks to talk about behind ActionAlertsPlus.com. Let, let me just make one, one more sure. point. Um, this is what you're going to see all year. You're going to see comments like the Disney upgrade today. Uh, the Disney upgrade is based on the fact that you should start thinking about the movies, not about ESPN. 
in the first five days, there is always a level of optimism that is just like that. It has been this way, and I remember, because in the 80s, I used to go with my kids, well, 90s, but also I, in the early 90s, I went with my kids to Disney World every single year. And I always remember this period because you would get upgrade after upgrade after upgrade. It's always going to be a sense that this year is going to be the great year. So be aware, you get five days of really unbelievable uh, 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 positives, none of which um, are really revelatory, um, but they do tend to work. And, and maybe investors stop obsessing over ESPN. Yeah, I mean, I think that ESPN, uh, one of the things that has really hurt that stock is, is uh, cord cutting, but now you know, if you believe in Fox, you've got International, where cable is not that, uh, you got India, where cable is certainly not a big deal yet. And, and uh, you know, this uh, we got to recognize that if a movie can make a billion dollars, one billion dollars, that's just an incredible business. And I think that people are going to recognize that the movie business with Toy Story 4, with another Star Wars, um, with Mary Poppins, which is, I think is going to be a billion dollar movie. These are things that people have to start thinking about. And if you put those two together, you do want to own Disney through this slog until the Fox deal closes. And I think the Fox deal will work. Hey, by the way, President tweeting a lot of uh, stuff. What, let's remember, President means deregulation, helps oils, helps banks, banks first out of the shoot, the, the, uh, we'll see a lower tax rate. We'll hear some tremendous things about growth. Uh, Lennar today upgraded because there's so too few home builders. Remember, uh, Horton and Pulte were the two stocks, uh, two home builders. They were two of the best stocks uh, of the top 10 in the S&P. That'll be a piece coming in real money. So I really just want to urge that people recognize there's a lot of uh, buoyance a buoyancy that happens at the beginning of the year, and I don't like it because there won't be next week. Well, it's amazing the home builders did so well given the rising rate environment. I know, and it's unbelievable that, that Pulte and Horton could be so strong. Uh, the textbooks say you should be selling those stocks. I think the shorts are always looking for something to do. And what they did was they went up against these stocks and the commodity plays because China looked muted. But take a look at Freeport. It's up at 18. Take a look at the home builders. They're incredibly strong. So the the actual book about what's supposed to happen here for hedge fund managers isn't working. And let's watch Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, which is Alphabet. They all had a really tepid last few weeks. If they can rally, then the NASDAQ, which was the best performer, can have another leg in the first quarter. All right, Jim, we're going to continue the conversation, but everyone has to go to actionalertsplus.com to watch us. We have us. A, lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff going today. So New many. stuff. Yep. Thank you. We'll see you there.